Hello everyone, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to today's Fusion Friday video. In today's tip, I'm going to be talking about the Select menu. In this example, I have a planetary gearbox that I downloaded off of GrabCAD. I want to send just the housings from this design to my manufacturing vendor to be manufactured, and they don't need all of the fasteners or the internals. You'll notice that there are hundreds of fasteners in this design. They are also located inside the subassemblies, so it would take a long time for me to sift through and try and find and remove all of them manually. If I section through the design, you can see lots of fasteners and components on the inside. So we will use some of the tools in the select menu to help us remove unneeded components. The first command I want to use is the select by size command. This brings up a dialog with some sliders in it. As you can see here, it's selecting anything from 0 to 26 millimeters in size. This defines a bounding box, so anything that would fit inside a 26 millimeter box will get selected. We can see that it has highlighted some of the components that are smaller than 26 millimeters. If we increase the slider, we can see how it's selecting more and more objects. I can also type in a distance instead of using the slider. I'll drop this down to 60 millimeters so it selects most of the fasteners. You'll notice that it did not select these larger hex head bolts because they don't fit inside that 60 millimeter bounding box selection. But that's okay. We're going to remove them using another selection method. I'll right-click on one of the selections and pick Remove. If we section through the design, we can see it's removed many of the fasteners, but there are still some in the design. I want to find out the name of this bolt, so I can click and hold on it, and it will bring up the probe menu. If I click on the Parents tab, I can see the name of the fastener has the word hex in it. This time, in the select menu, I'm going to use select by name. I can type in hex and click find, and it will select any component with the word hex in it. It found quite a few, so we can remove those also. We've just removed all of the fasteners out of the design. The next thing I want to do is remove all of the internal components. I'll use Select by Size again to do this. As I drag the slider to the right, it's highlighting more and more components. I'll keep going until it starts highlighting the housings, and then I'll back off a bit. We're now left with just the housings. So that's it. Hopefully you will find this selection tip useful in your designs. Please make sure you like this video and repost it if you found it useful to share it with others. We'll see you on the next Fusion Friday. Thank you.